Hey VPS5, I'm Rindy Hufford from Motiva TV and this is VPS5 News for September 3rd, 2012. Today we'll hang out with the Total Safety Team, plus a reminder about the rising temperature. Why heat stress and heat um, exhaustion are so uh, dangerous is because it can lead to heat stroke. Heat stroke leads to brain damage and also possible death. But first, Echo owner Mike Roebuck is in the studio with another message from the top. And now, from the top. Echo's a mechanical general contractor since 1987, so we're 37 years in business, which makes us the, the oldest tenured local contractor. We, we worked all through the commissioning project here, and so we had a lot of experience in VPS-5. And we did um, a large part of the dip pipe demolition, we moved it off-site, and then now we're, we're actually doing the, the unloading in the lay-down yard, transporting the pipe to the site and re-erecting it, you know, which is a, you know, a lot of potential pinch points, a lot of uh, rigging expertise has to, has to happen, a lot of planning. And so we had to be very cautious to make sure we had the right quality of personnel on site because when you have large bore heavy pipe, you can find areas with a lot of hand rigging. Uh, you just really have to have uh, people that are extremely qualified. Today at the uh, Golden Triangle Business Roundtable, which is a uh, kind of the, uh, I call it the Academy Awards of our industry, uh, we were selected in the large construction category for work in the Motiva facility which is a big deal. It's a reflection on the people that we have, that we've, we've grown so much. I mean, I didn't do that. You know, you, that goes just the name. The people is what make things happen. It's true that excellence begins by choosing quality employees, but quality doesn't end there. A constant effort is needed to avoid future problems. In today's Build It Right, Build It Tight, we'll see how even the smallest of shortcuts can have disastrous results. Hello, I'm Ed Cole. To ensure that we deliver a project that truly is world class, we must ensure that we address quality problems in a timely manner. We should have a vision to embrace, integrate, and trend quality in all phases of this project. The following video was prepared by the American Society for Quality and dramatically shows us that quality can mean the difference between excellence and disaster. Engine's throttling up, three engines now at 104%. Challenger, go and throttle up. Looking very carefully at the situation. Obviously a major malfunction. The quality failure here was the O-ring seal. NASA managers knew their suppliers as a potential catastrophic flaw in the O-ring. They failed to address the problem. Also, NASA disregarded warnings from engineers about the dangers of launching in low temperatures. The quality rule broken was to take a factual approach to decision making. Human loss, seven people dead. Financial loss, over one billion dollars. The cost of redesigning the O-ring was only a few hundred thousand dollars. Let's look at one more quality failure. In 2010, the BP Deepwater Horizon drilling rig exploded. This led to the largest environmental disaster in U.S. history. The quality failure was weak cement around the well. To save time and money, contractors failed to properly test the cement. The quality rule broken was the process approach. Know your input and output requirements. Also, technicians incorrectly interpreted a pressure test and ignored signs such as a riser losing fluid. The quality rule broken was take a factual approach to decision making. BP blamed Transocean, the rig owner. Transocean blamed BP for a flawed design. They both blamed Halliburton for bad cement. And then the U.S. government blamed them all. And in turn, the U.S. government was blamed for a lack of regulation. Human loss, 11 people dead. Financial loss to BP, $10 billion. Environmental loss is immeasurable. However, the cost to check the cement was only $128,000 in 10 hours of time. So what do these two disasters have in common that could apply to our project? They did not follow written work procedures, 
nor did they meet the definition of quality, which is conformance to requirement. But while you work, think about the quality of work you're performing and who it affects. It could be an operator, your co-worker, or even your best friend. Be safe out there. And now, Eric Hutchison is in the field with this on permanent ladders. That's right, Randy. We're talking about ladders today, these fixed permanent ladders with the cages on them, also known as back scratchers. Just a few reminders about these. Uh, you really want to watch your footing. Uh, things can get slippery around here, and you don't want to get in a hurry and slip off of this. This back scratcher or cage is about seven feet on average above the ground. These cages are in place for if you do kind of lose your footing or lose your balance, you can lean back on these cages a little bit, keep you safe. Always keep your three points of contact. That's another really big issue we always talk about here. One, two, three. That's three points right there. So, I'm no pro at climbing ladders, obviously. I've seen a lot of guys go up and down these things much faster. You guys that do it every day. So I always take my time, Make sure I've got good footing on each step and hold on tight, three points all the time. In closing, I just want to go over the three what's. Always keep in mind what could go wrong, what could cause it to go wrong, and what you can do to prevent it. Back to you, Rendy. Thanks, Eric. You know there's more to safety than rules and procedures. The first step in safety is your health, and here are some things to remember. As the temperature rises, so does the risk of heat-related illnesses, such as heat stroke. It's important to know your limits and heed the signs. If you're getting a little light headache, uh, if you're getting dizzy, um, basically, uh, before, if you start getting nauseated and start vomiting, uh, have a dry mouth. And just keep this in mind, when was the last time that you urinated? That's very, very important. Um, it, it will tell if you're taking enough fluids, you'll be urinating. Also, the color of your urine is very important. If it's very... Um, uh, dark yellow um, and concentrated, that means that you're not getting enough fluids. To avoid heat related illnesses, you should arrive to work hydrated and continue to drink plenty of water throughout the day. Take a break in the shade if you start getting too hot. When you begin sweating, towel off to stay cooler. And last but not least, know your limits. Following these tips will help you stay healthy and stay safe. And speaking of safety, let's take a look at the total safety crew in this week's Contractors Corner. And now, it's time for another edition of Contractor's Corner. Total safety. There's, we're not part-time safety, we're total safety. We provide the guys with fresh, clean air, breathing air. Sometimes in an ideal H atmosphere, immediate danger to life or health, uh, we need to make sure that they've got sufficient air and proper air to breathe while they're in there working. This is our on-site breathing air compressor. Compresses breathing air, goes through a series of uh, holding tanks. First holding tank's the wet scrub. Goes through the holding tank through a particulate filter into our air dryers. From the air dryers, it goes into a coalescing filter. To take out any hydrocarbons, if there's any hydrocarbons in the system. Once it goes through the coalescing filter, it goes through our foregas monitor. Before it goes to the end user, it's analyzed. Then it goes out through a three inch bull hose out into the unit for the end user. This is our A-way manifold stand. This is what we send up on the structure. These are whip checks so the guys can hook up their low pressure hoses. We got our QA tag. We check, we, we check this before we leave the shop and we sign off on this and make sure everything is good to go. We have uh, diary logs that my employees fill out every 10 minutes on this compressor and they take a reading on the manifolds every 30 minutes. Um, it's uh, very important that my employees Make sure that they're taking care of Motiva's employees and the contractors that work here. Those guys that's, old, that's in those vessels and towels, their lives is depending on us. We're here to save lives and make sure the guys go home safe to their family. All of us at Total Safety have one motto we stand behind. It's called W3, ensuring the well-being of workers worldwide. Keep up the good work, guys. And that wraps up this week's VPS 5 News. I'm Rindy Hufford from Motiva TV. Be safe out there, guys.